In this video, we will discuss the function of dendritic cell, especially focusing on interferon production. We will also discuss the effect of interferon on the other cell types. Whenever there is a virus infection or viral particle that is trying to enter inside our body, our body responds in a particular way. Dendritic cells are the important cells that are known to provide innate immune system to our body. These cells, they produce interferon molecules and these molecules they protect ourselves from viral infection. In this video I'm going to discuss how interferon alpha and beta protects our cells from the virus infection. We'll discuss the role of toll-like receptors. We'll focus on toll-like receptor 3, 7, 8 and 9. These are endosomal toll-like receptors. So I hope that you're going to also understand what is the role of toll-like receptor signaling in the dendritic cell. Before we start the lecture, I have a quick request to make. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel and show your support. In this video, we're going to discuss the role of dendritic cell and interferon production. Why are the dendritic cell and its effect on the immune system? To explain this topic, let me design, first design the dendritic cell here. In green color, you're seeing the outline of the dendritic cell. And in the red color, I'm showing the virus particle. So the virus particle is trying to enter inside the dendritic cell. So after entering inside the dendritic cell or uh, processing by the dendritic cell, it will interact first with the endoplasmic reticulum where its individual components will be processed and uh, via endosomes, they will be exposed to toll-like receptors. Here in white color, you're seeing toll-like receptor 3. So after interacting with the toll-like receptor, these virus proteins, they're going to activate the pathway, which includes the TRIF downstream signaling molecule, TRAF3, another downstream signaling molecule will activate the IRF3. So this is one pathway which is regulated by TLR3. You have another pathway which is regulated by TLR7, TLR8 and 9. So in red color, those are the, this is the representative uh, image for those toll-like receptors. Here you will have adapter molecule says mid-88 protein which will activate the IRAK4 that will further activate the TRAF3 molecule. After that via NEMO you will have the expression of NF kappa B which is nuclear factor kappa B protein and this is another pathway which is regulated by TLR7, 8 and 9. And there is also a third pathway which is uh, regulated via both these toll-like receptors where TRAF3 molecule will activate the IRF7 that will further activate the nuclear factor kappa B and cause the production of interferon alpha and interferon beta. These triangles, green triangles that you are seeing on your screen are the representative image for uh, interferon alpha and beta. So here I'm trying to outline the pathways. So in brown color, you're seeing the TLR3 dependent pathway. In the blue color, I'm trying to show you the other pathways. So I can write it down, TLR7, 8, and 9. You have TLR3. So these are the toll-like receptor molecules that are important for the interferon alpha and beta production. Further, after the production, these triangles, these molecules, they will bind to their respective receptors on the cells to further activate the antiviral response. Via interferon alpha and beta, there will be initiation of the downstream signaling molecule that will include TYK2, JAK1, further the expression or the activation of STAT1 and STAT2 will cause the activation of IRF9 and this downstream signaling pathway will cause the production of antiviral molecules, this particular cell will be protected from this viral pathogen, right? So interferon alpha and beta produced by dendritic cell via the exposure of virus can lead to the production of 
uh, antiviral effector molecules that will uh, molecules that will protect the cell i hope this lecture was helpful for you to understand the function of dendritic cells we have discussed what is the role of interferon alpha and beta in protecting a particular cell from viral infection we have also discussed the role of toll like receptor 3 7 8 and 9 these are the endosomal toll like receptors so i hope now that you know what are the important functions that are played by toll like receptors we have also discussed the cellular signaling pathway and i hope that this topic is going to help you to understand the immune system better if you are new to the channel then please do subscribe to the channel and show your support thank you